You drive along the road and just come upon castles. Like I have a little bit of a cold. Pretty. Can't see much out there. There once was a guy named Mike. Made it to Limerick and there are castles galore. Bloody hell, Joe. Good morning, everybody. We are in Galway again, we, like we were yesterday. That's our hotel right there. We're leaving it though. And we're heading to hopefully the Cliffs of Moor, which is, I don't really know what it is, but it's something that everybody likes and says that we're supposed to do. So, and I haven't done it before. So we're gonna go, it's like these huge cliffs and apparently you're gonna see puffins, which I'm very excited about. I have a little bit of a cold. I got some sniffles. And yesterday the wind was whipping so much when we were in Galway that my makeup like like ran all over my face. So today I decided I'm not wearing any makeup so we can just let the wind whip because I assume it's going to whip while we're at the cliffs because it's where the Atlantic Ocean slams across all, like all that wind comes all the way from the United States and Canada and slams right into Ireland. So it has a lot of way to pick up speed. So I think it's gonna be a little windy over there. Yeah. You think? But today it's nice out. It's actually, what would you say like, 63 degrees maybe? Yeah. Uh, South, uh, Fahrenheit? Yeah. So we're looking forward to doing that and then we leave tomorrow. So today is our last big day in exploring Ireland, which has been an absolute joy. Cannot Absolutely. wait to come back. We hope to leave tomorrow. We hope to leave. That's <laughs> exactly right. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're flying um, non-rev, which means standby. So we're on the list. Oh, I better check in. It's almost 10.55. All right, let me see. Hold on. On our way to the Cliffs of Moor, we found this sweet little town. Mike, what is it called? I don't even know, it's, oh, uh, sugar. I'm not sure what it's called, but you drive along the road and just come upon castles. Like, so, so this is the castle and it starts with a D. I'll get the actual name for you. But it's kind of crazy, like, oh, hey. Like, we came around this corner and all of a sudden we see really tall that. Okay. All right, you guys, it's called Kinvara. I hope I'm saying it right, wait, right there. The town is called Kinvara. There's a little B&B there, um, but it's on the water. I'm not sure where this goes. Really just, just taking it as it comes. We didn't do a ton of research, just like Kate and I when we went to Portugal. Not a ton of research. We're just sort of like wherever we happen upon. We happen upon. And there you are. Okay, it's the Dunguer Castle. See that right there? Castle. We're working our way around the castle. There's this little path. I'm not sure. I mean, people have walked here before, but I'm not sure this is official. I don't know. But the, the front door to the castle was locked. Maybe it's just a hiking path, Mike. Hopefully. It's pretty. Guys, no, you're not going to tinkle, Mike. You can't do that. Yeah. No. I feel like I'm gonna slip and fall. Oh, it's a little muddy. I do not want to slip and fall. Okay, hang on everybody, I got my elf shoes on. Wow. Yeah, nice. Oh, look. Okay, this is so Ireland. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see. Wait, little animals over there. Very pretty, very nice. She has a cool view from down there. Maybe I should get down there. We came down to the water, you guys. Now we're gonna look up. Let me look up. There's a little family up there. But that's pretty cool. All right, picture. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mike and I have both fallen. <laughs> Each of us have fallen. This look is deceiving. It's very, very slippery. We did not wear our hiking boots. Um, Mike landed on his back on a rock, which was a little bit scary. On my buttocks. On your buttocks. I landed on my knee. Anyway, it's all good. Part of the adventure. From everyday driving to family road trips to the coast, a BMW plug-in hybrid offers you the flexibility you need. We've arrived at the Cliffs of Moher. This is the parking area and the weather has turned a bit. Um, it's kind of to be expected. <laughs> if you watched our video the other day or if you're from Ireland or maybe you know, you get all four se seasons in one day generally and we're entering probably the winter season right now. We were just in spring a minute ago. 
but it is um, kind of crowded, but we think that the cliffs are right over there because we can see a cliff. Do you see that? So I think we're gonna walk over there where all those people are and see the cliffs. I don't know that we're gonna get much of a view because it's a little foggy out there. Right. But it's still worth doing. We're, we're here, right? Yeah, we're here. We made it. That was a beautiful, beautiful drive. Cool. Saw a few castles along turn the way. Oh, oh, okay, we'll turn left. Um, Where's my thing? Oh, is this yours? Yeah. There you go. Yes, and lots of sheep, and we're just impressed by all of the um, all the stonework. There's so many beautiful stone um, fences. So pretty. Very Ireland. Very much what we had thought Ireland was going to be like. But mm -hmm. but to be in it, it was a drive. What was? Would you say it was two hours? <clears throat> if we left at ten, no, we left at eleven. Twelve one. Yeah, two hours. Two hour drive across. Too bad. Yeah. Beautiful. It's have out. to stay alert, that's for sure. Yeah, holy cow, the roads are this, this wide and we're driving on the left. <laughs> you guys, as I said, we've had the most beautiful drive up through here. Oh, and it's not raining, it's been sunny, and it's gorgeous. Literally right when we pulled in the parking lot for the Cliffs of Mo Mohar? Mohar? Mohar. Mohar? Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. It started sprinkling, and now it's raining. And I'm like, okay, let me just look at the weather and see. Sometimes there's like passing clouds, that kind of thing. So I look at the weather, and this is what we're up against. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, whoa, uh, we gotta go. I guess I want to need my sunglasses. <laughs> no, no sunglasses needed. Thank goodness we have an umbrella and I have a little bit of a raincoat. So we're going to try to go see it as quickly as we can, like Chubby Chase, right? Um, at on vac In the movie Vacation, when he goes and looks at the um, Grand Canyon. All right, we're on our way. Hopefully we can show you guys stuff because it's a little cloudy, but hopefully we'll get to see a really good view. So these are the tickets for those of you who are going to be traveling at some point to Ireland. This is a ticket for the Cliff of Moher. It's twelve dollars per, per. I'm sorry, twelve euros per person to, per per adult to get in. So that's what we have. We've got two of those, and hoping to see a puffin. That's where we're going over there, guys. So we parked and walking right in here. <laughs> okay, so as we're walking along, these are all little things like built into the side of the mountain. I don't know what that first one is, but then there's a jeweler store, a gift store, cliff tops, Tina's Mart, music shop, <laughs> Irish t shirts. Okay. Very cold, very rainy. <laughs> we could keep going like way, way, way up there, which I would like to do. Mike's not in on it. Um, but we've seen like this is this is a cliff of motor. I think there are mo more than one, but this is the one we're looking at right here. It's a little windy, if you can tell. It's very pretty. Can't see much out there. <laughs> the rain's coming in. All right, Mike's decided to turn around. Can we go to the other point, which is up in that castle, the highest point on the other side? Let's do that so we can look back at the cliffs. So there's a visitor center and all that, but we've opted not to do that because we're soaking wet. We're gonna get in the car and continue on our journey. We're flying out tomorrow morning of Dublin. Sorry you guys, it's all. So we're gonna be working our way back towards that. We're not sure we're going to go to Limerick or Kilkenny or Wexford, where we're gonna go, but we're gonna work our way back that way. So stay tuned. Mike's gonna change his pants in the car because he's soaking wet. I'm a little wet too, but I'm going to try to tough it out. That was worth it. You think it was worth it? Ah, oh, I'd do it again. <laughs> no, we had to do it. We, we had to. You're right there. You can't not. Right. And who, how did we know it was going to be torrential downwards? We didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. We're driving through these cute little towns, like all these cute little towns along the way that have... Butcher shop. So cute and colorful. Love it. This one is called... What did I say, Mike? Ennis? E-N-N, hold on, E-N-N-I-S-T-Y-M-O-N, Ennistimon? I'm not sure, something like that. Very cute. Of course it's raining. If you're from Ireland, comment down below, let me know that you're from Ireland and if you live anywhere near Ennistimon. I hope I say that right. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
All right, we've made it to Limerick and there are castles galore. All these castles. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to find a pub and eat first then maybe we'll go on a castle tour. Oh, it's really, oh gosh. See, it's really cloudy and King John's castle, yes. Oh, yes, all of it, okay. I don't know where to eat though. So maybe we're just gonna park down here, right? Why not? Yeah, all right, see what we see. John's castle table. visitor center. King John's table. <laughs> Surely there's a restaurant in the castle. Table. <laughs> right. Which way? We decided to go to the lock bar in County Limerick, Ireland. I wish I could talk like you. So I have hot tea because I'm starting to feel a little bit under the weather. Michael has a pint because that's what you do here. And he got steak and ale pie, and I got a toasty because my friend Lori said I needed to have a toasty. So I got a toasty, and then their soup of the day is potato and leek. I will show it to you when I get it. Um, it's quite windy and cold out there, but I didn't realize that Limerick was on the River Shannon. I think it's, that's how they say it, not the Shannon River, the River Shannon. And it's very pretty. It's right over there. I'll show it to you when we walk out. Um, but right now, it's kind of nasty out. But if it were sunny, I think it would be so much more beautiful. Anyway, this is why a, a woman that we met in line um, when we were at the football game the other day said oh, about the she's from the western part of Ireland and she said that's why so many people go to we go to the pubs because it's so cold out and you just go to the pub. So that's what we do. So I'm having tea at the pub. Holy cremoli, I think this is a really, really good call. Mike got steak and ale pie. This is like a puff pastry. I cannot wait to have a bite of that. Yes. And this is my toasty. I got a chicken and cheese toasty and potato and leek soup. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited. This is a lot of food. <laughs> Alright, that's what our restaurant looked like. That was good. It's getting really, yes, yeah, the lack of the race. It's really crowded now that we're leaving. Let me take a picture. Hold on. Lock and Limerick. Lock and Limerick. Well, Mike wanted to try to make up a Limerick. He's not. He's a, good at a lot of things. There once was a guy okay. named Mike. This is the uh, River Shannon. A bike. <laughs> he tried really hard, and he really didn't. He tried really hard, but didn't have a card. Uh huh. So he said, "Let's go grab a bike." Right. There was a guy named Mike who really couldn't ride a bike. He tried, he tried really, really hard. hard. He said, let's get a card. Oh no, tried really hard. Let's couldn't... get a car. <laughs> yes. And instead we'll go grab grab a, a bike. bike. Alright, let's try it one more time. <laughs> All right. There once was a guy named Mike who really couldn't ride a bike. He tried really hard. He said, let's get a card. And, oh no, this is why we're going to be forced to leave Okay, here. hold on, hold on. We're going we're gonna to perfect this. We'll be right back with our limerick. Stay tuned. All right, we decided to go out and we're going to visit our very first Irish grocery store. So it's right here. It's called Tesco. We think that's, that's the Clare Hall Shopping Center. So watch this. All right, you guys, that's it. It's diagonal from our hotel. And we want dinner, but we really don't want to sit down at a restaurant. We've eaten at so many restaurants since we've been here, which has been delightful, but we just want to chill in the room. So we're going to try to get something at the grocery store. You we're going to tan. <laughs> you have a tan? Yeah. Decorating center is tanning. Eddie Rockets. Oh, Eddie Rockets, right. Eddie Rockets, we think, is like the Irish version of Johnny Rockets. If you guys know what Johnny Rockets is. I haven't been to Johnny Rockets in forever. It's like burgers and fries and milkshakes. Anything. All right, but I really want something healthy, like a great big salad. I haven't eaten a salad or a vegetable in a very long time. Okay. All right, you guys, something totally different from the United States. These are the eggs. They are not in the refrigerator. Tell me why, if you're from Europe. They're Irish eggs. Tell me, Full Irish, Irish eggs. okay. So tell me why they're not in the refrigerator. Like what is different about them that they don't need to be in the refrigerator? Or what do we do wrong? Or maybe what they're doing wrong. I have no idea, but I want to know why they're not in the refrigerator and ours are. That's number one. All right, that was not a success. That's what we got. Diet Coke. 
<laughs> cookies, green stuff, a banana, and tissues. Off the side tissues. <laughs> Good morning from Dublin, Ireland. We are headed out this morning, going to the airport. Are you ready, Mike? Top of the morning to you, Jilly. And the rest of the day to you too, Mikey. <laughs> Is that right? Another day to excel. Did I say that right? Yes. We're trying to learn all the um, Irish phrases. And this morning we turned on the TV and it was all American TV, which is weird. But let me show you the weather. It's a beautiful day in Ireland. <laughs> We'll change it to a typical day. Look, you can see the airplane over there. We are at the airport hotel, so we are on our way. Hold on, you guys. I've got like a thousand things in my hands because that's how I roll. Um, we are on our way to the airport to fly back to the States. And we're flying standby, so we hope we get on the plane. So far, I checked this morning. There are 14 available seats, and we are numbers three and four. So fingers crossed that we're going to make it. Um, I don't want to put it onto the universe, but it's looking kind of good. But if I do that, then it might change everything. So our flight's in what, like three hours, two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. We're right close. So we shouldn't, shouldn't take us long. Everything's working out. We got our boarding passes. So there we go. So we get to go. We're, I'm 17C and Mike is 17D, so we think we're across the aisle from each other. It's time to board. We flew JetBlue here and had a really good experience. So I'm looking forward to our Jet, JetBlue flight back. It's nice, right? Oh, it's yeah, nice Yeah, I think so too. Thank you, JetBlue. We get food? Yeah. yeah. We get lunch. We get lunch? Yeah. We drink for a while. You can have a you can have a cocktail. Have a you can. Yeah. Put a glass of wine. I'm not gonna, but you can. have a mimosa. I bet you could. Can I have a pina colada? No. You can have a mimosa, a wine, a beer, and probably some type of spirit. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can. What? <laughs> Mike, it's ten in the morning now. Bloody hell, Joe. All right, time to go. Here we go. I love jet bridges that have windows on either side. They have this in Kansas City. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to where I was supposed to go. Almost to, to, oh, that is so not right. So not right. 